Oh god, they do look a little bit like Legend of Zelda monster now that I looked at them better there. There's still plenty of power left in these old bones. <laughs> okay, I guess he leveled up. <laughs> I think so. Oh wait, I missed. <laughs> oh god. I still like giant fish, man. <laughs> Spot the monster! Sure, do you grab one leg, I'll grab the other. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I don't know how the hell we won that. <laughs> Not that I ever possess. Oh, another one. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm over good for now. Probably best to click on those things at least once, since we don't know how the game works, so we don't know if they're just a thing that exists, yeah. or if you need to click on them to activate them. Maybe. Like bonfires in Dark Souls. Could be. Mm. I'm kind of surprised we don't have like a this carriage or something. This was once a prosperous yeah. town. It was centered around <laughs> the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Why <laughs> was it called was that? More? No, the one the remnant was bound to passed away. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However. They all have one thing in common. Which is? And that is? <laughs> Thank you, Rush. When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. This calamity is known as the Collapse. Shh! Hide yourselves. <laughs> You got all the big fish guy, the tallest one there is the one going hate yourself. Two men and a dark haired little girl. Wait, that's not her? I think it is. Where did it say that? Oh, wait. Uh, what did rush. you do to her? This must be our cue. Uh oh. We are the fun guy. <laughs> oh crap. Um Okay, so can we control time now? It hasn't stopped this guy from being an idiot. Again, probably the worst role Johnny Young Bosch has ever done. Uh oh. Another collapse. Wait, so is that the rubber soul? I'm Wait, assuming I it is. Called that. I love the fact that it's like you know, it's like you have to wonder what the guys who originally created these remnant were fucking thinking. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's make it so that if the one who's controlling it dies, it causes a calamity. I know. What society would do that? Not even it just you know shuts down temporarily. No, it breaks out and starts destroying everything. Yeah. Then again, I can't really talk. Being a fan of the 40k universe, I have looked up some of the weirder bits of lore, like the fact that 
a titan that was destroyed in battle was brought back online, but because they have a limited form of sentience, it couldn't handle the fact that it was brought back from the dead, because it could still remember itself dying, yeah. so it went berserk and killed everyone around it. <coughs> and then there's all the ridiculous bits of lore when it comes to the orcs. Hmm. Like the fact that... Okay, you guys have seen me play various 40k games at other points. Uh -huh. You know how it's like you can see orcs with hair? Uh -huh. They don't actually... Orcs are not capable of growing hair. Hmm. If you get into some of the older uh -huh. parts of fluff, uh -huh. it turns out that orcs have a special type of squig mm -hmm. that can grow hair. Okay. And they use them as toupees. Uh, you know, the wee pink balls of baitiness? Yeah. They use as toupees because some of them can grow hair. Okay. Then again, if you want to get into the weirder stuff there is in some of the really old fluff, breath fresh freshening squigs. Mm. I'm not making this up. <laughs> I wish I was. Nice. Well, we're winning. Charge! Right, cover your health. <coughs> Vicious plant. You know, I have to love the fact that I wound up talking about orcs, which are living ah. fungus. Well, we're fighting a plant. <laughs> It'd only be more appropriate if we were fighting a giant mushroom. I don't know what annoys me more, when you have an enemy boss that you can't see the health bar for, or when you can see the health bar, but it just says it's unknown so you can't see how well you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one's more annoying. Uh, I'll put back here now. <laughs> it was as you said, Lord David. The flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Oh. So it wasn't lightning. Okay. Confirm this with the academy. <laughs> yes, my lord. Who could be behind all this? <clears throat> we do not yeah. know enough at this point. Verily, this situation <laughs> is more complex than we'd imagined. Yes, we should postpone any course of action until we know more. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? We are not dealing with an ordinary foe. A well-researched plan is essential. You've not played any JRPGs, have Dave, you? Dave, come on! <laughs> Toggle is correct. <laughs> we are dealing with forces that control a remnant not even the Academy knows about. Jumping to conclusions will only place Arthlam in danger. You must understand my position, Rush. Where are you going? To find Arena, obviously. Because oh, it worked so well last time. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Well, thanks for the help along the way. I'll go it alone from here. Again, so it worked so well last time. 